Thank you so much for staying tuned. This is TM. I want to delve into a uh, door 24 issues surrounding submission of names of candidates. As it stands right now, we have just eight according to INEC, and we have two days to go for names submission. INEC want to tell those states that look, you guys have seen the political parties participating in this election. Haven't said that. Some parties have already submitted the names of their candidates after conducting primaries and uh, deputies attached to it. But for some other eight, INEC is still waiting patiently for them to submit their names and the names of their deputies or running mates, so to speak. What in the world is going on? I still have uh, the voice uh, of Nigerians in diaspora, their president all the way from Germany, uh, Benjamin Mayer. Benjamin, it's so good to have you join us in this second uh, segment. Appreciate you standing by. Thank you so much. All right. And of course, I still have uh, Samuel Ehigato and uh, Solomon Idiobe. Well, right now, I want to start off from Samuel Ehigato for good reasons. May I come to you, all right, shortly after listening to Samuel. Samuel, we have just eight out of 16 as proposed by INEC. What in the world is happening? I know you're a member of the, of the APC, all right? And of course, may you have this affiliation and these soft sports for the PDP. Solomon is an activist that's neither here nor there. I do understand. But all the same, let's start off with you. What do you feel about this? <coughs> I say thank you very much. All right. I think the, the problem we have is that if we have a free, fair primaries, mm -hmm. not selected primaries, a well elected primaries, irrespective of the party now, this issue will not even come up. Because after primaries, you have your, your candidate, and the candidate look for a running mate, you merge it together, you send it to the INEC. But because most primaries of the political parties are not free and fair, there is always wrangling, there is always crisis involved. If we take the three major political parties as at present, I keep saying so, you always say there are many, there are 16. There are 16, yes. yes. I know there are 16. But now there are just eight that submitted their names. <laughs> the, the main three, for example, if you look at how it all went, it was a situation that even in APC, we are even expected to go to court before the president swayed in, the, the, uh, the national chairman swayed in, it was resolved, amicably settled now, we have our candidate, we have our running mate, it has been submitted to the INEC, we have no problem. Like in PDP, I think they must have also submitted their own because they have their candidate already, in respect of that uh, some have still disagreed. And uh, like my brother earlier said, some have already accepted finish. Hmm. So that's why they are looking for where to jump to. So already those parties that have been able to resolve their differences from the primaries have been able to submit their, their list. Like the Labour Party, they have three candidates as are present. And they have not been able to resolve that issue because they have so many internal wranglings and crises already. No, they, 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 they have just one. Listen. They have say, just one right say, now. We say they have three. It's not about trying to spoil a party. It's not about trying to discredit a party. It is about making Nigerians understand what is happening in the political parties, irrespective of whatever the party is whether it's a party B or a party A, we should learn to have a proper primaries. When a primary is proper, the eyes and the, the deaf and the dumb, both the, the blinds, they can see that this is who really won and was elected by the, the grassroots, was elected by the members and accepted by the members. We won't have issues. All right. We won't have issues. The issue starts from the primaries. Okay. That is why INEC is having the problem now that many of them have not been able to resolve the wrangling from the primaries and have not been able to choose a running mate. In that circumstance, without that, you cannot submit. All right. Except they want to do what happened in the presidential too, by sending those their candidates and substituted names. Later again, they'll come and change the names. You know, it's also happened in the presidential. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, That's what we are choosing. <laughs> yes, I'm replace. I, 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 I replace I'm replacement. Back to you. Replacement. Okay. So that is the only way it can be fast. Mm. But in as much as that is not taking place as at present, 
those parties all have to come to themselves, settle the, because that's why they have internal mechanism to settle issues. Issues, okay. But quick Nigerians are quick to court. To court. And when the case is in court, there's no resolution. Okay. And I neck will not get any names. They have two days to go right now. Barely two they days. They have to resolve. Who does not resolve? We don't have a candidate, candidate in the election. Is. It is not a crime not to submit a name. Oh, really? If you cannot submit your name before the deadline, automatically you don't you, you, have, you have nothing to do with the 2020 election. election September. Solomon. You stay at home. Solomon, do, do you share his views? Mm, uh, to, to a very large extent, we, we I share part of his view, except for the fact that he says that the Labour Party has uh, three candidates. All mm -hmm. the parties, they have uh, internal issues. Um, we know that uh, as we speak, whether rightly or wrongly, whether it was a dollar rain election or not, uh, Labour Party said they have uh, a, political, a political candidates. I may not want to mention names so that I don't start doing adverts mm. for people unpaid for. Um, as we speak, mm. they all have their running mates, even though I don't know whether they run the goal. <laughs> uh, they, they are there. <laughs> I, I think that um, the submission of names is as a result of the fact that all of the political parties had their own. APC at a point thought that the election was a walkover. Just buy the ticket. Just buy, win, buy the ticket. Win the ticket. Be a flag bearer. I'm telling you with that case. Yes, that's the mindset of the APC. Don't, just get the ticket you are governor. And the, in the PDP, at a point, it also became a dollar ring. It was a, it was a matter of uh, who get pass. And as, as it was rumored, there was a bank money flowing. And that was why at a point you saw whether about six or eight or nine of them went to one side and said, we didn't agree with the pre-primary convention that took place. And you know that thing kept working. I'm also aware that one of them is in court over that matter. Uh, then the Labour Party, I know that there are a whole lot of issues. So I mean, but whether we like it or not, these major, three major political parties, as it were, or as it stands, have their uh, deputies and their governorship candidates. But again, all the parties, all the parties, if you like, still have their internal wrangling. wranglings. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is true, like Aras has said, that the president has waded in and then there is this um, mindset that all is well with APC. He knows the truth. It is all is not well with APC. It's the truth. Then even in the PDP, it is not totally well with the PDP. Especially with um, even though I believe that it is control finished. It's just to press control finish. The whole thing is finished. With that um, individual um, primary that is in court already being contended by an individual. There's still issue. And don't forget this issue of a legacy group in the PDP that is still being watered by, with all due respect, allow me to mention a yes on Wiki who is better. Better speculations. With all due speculations, please. Uh, I, I said, with all due respect, allow me, so that you can you, put you, it in perspective. Okay. As we speak, hmm. yes, a week is is a PDAPC. Hmm. Is neither an APC member nor an APC member, but a PDP member and not a PDP member. So, don't forget. That he is a factor as far as a man who could displace, who could displace uh, an Amechi in his party, sacked him from his party, so much so that Amechi has jumped ship. I don't know if you get today, he's a factor in the government of the central state of Nigeria. So, 
these are factors that are playing. And like I said, from the Bush radio, by Tuesday, members of the legacy group will be jumping ship from the PDP to the APC. That is to say, as we speak, there are PDAPC members or APCPD <laughs> members <laughs> who are neither here nor there. Because if my Bush radio is very correct, the likes of the former House of Representative member in the PDP, a member of the legacy group, the former PDP chairman in the legacy group, and a whole lot of them, and our very mayor, former House of Representative member from Ovia, are all jumping ship if, if they have not jumped ship. That is, if your Bush radio is correct. I said if my Bush radio is correct. <laughs> okay. Now, where I'm going, <laughs> where I'm going is that. It's made the fight a little bit difficult and cumbersome. But it's not yet an uhuru. If only the political parties can go back into their steam room where they are taking cap, open up. You see, because the problem I have with most of these political parties, even when they are losing, they'll tell you we are winning. I'll come back right? to you. So I would expect, yes. as we speak, that the parties, as it stands, who are losing membership, and those who are also gaining membership should go back and think because it's not every member you see jumping ship at the eleventh hour that's Remember, coming to are coming to join you. I will come to back win. to you. Some are coming to find out facts. Facts. All right, Benjamin. Yeah, to disturb your party. All right, now, Benjamin. Now over to you. You you heard them. Eight parties. They have candidates that are running mates. Why some other eight? Einek is here to hear from them. They were spoken at length about this. Now, what do you think are the factors responsible from your own dimension? Don't forget, for the PDP, I think they're in the clear right now about candidates are running mate, APC, that they, they declare about uh, uh, candidates are running mate, Liberal Party, uh, NNPP, you just name it. But they are, I didn't say we see have spaces for eight persons, eight parties. They've not submitted the names of the candidates and, of course, running mates. Take it up from there. We, in Edo State, we have, according to the INEC, they have 16 political parties who are supposed to buy for the uh, the number one position. So, I was at the very. And now we have eight, according to statistics and according to the information we have from INEC. Um, don't forget, the party is like that because there is nothing you can do about it because the, most of those party constitution and their price tag for the uh, governorship form is very, very exorbitant even when they don't even have the structure to even win the local government election. So that is that is one of the factors that is playing that over there. I said they want to give the ticket free to, uh, to no, those people who are passed. interested. Because I remember vividly when I stepped down from the Labour Party and stopped uh, by not being a part of the process. Not for, let me say four political parties reached out directly to me, asking me to be their flag bearer of the party. And I look at the situation I want me. I am a businessman, so you wouldn't expect me to give out five million there or or even five million there to political party, which I know they will not be able to win one local government in those state. That is why. Except you are just out there to place cloud and uh, you want your name to be heard because you want to be part of the uh, political process. But that also has a role to play over there. And uh, the only thing I also see there is that uh, politics is deep, like I always say, politics is very, very deep, especially the one that's being played in the Joe State. The other eight political parties that are yet to uh, submit the names of their candidate, they have directly adopted one political party, directly and indirectly, which mm -hmm. they already know that even when they feed in the candidate, they will not have a headwind. And I can tell you, they already have a candidate um, in mind. That they want to adopt, and in oh, my own opinion, thing. in my own uh, observation, most of them are already heading towards Dr. Aswe Udalu for them to adopt him and support him in the next uh, and just that uh, to my entire election. So it's not a pattern at all. And um, I will always say, APC and PDP and Labour Party, who are the uh, major, let me say, the major uh, 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 political party in Nigeria, in the two state at the moment. Um, it spells it out. The three things are going to play out there. One is competence of the candidate, the character and the compassion of the candidate, 
and at the same time coupled with fairness equity and justice so these two there are these two uh, organs or rather these two sectors will have a very major role to play because um, if you look at that of the Labour Party, what is tearing the Labour Party apart today is that they refuse to yield to the voice of the people. The voice of the people in the sense that APC did the same thing, but they retraced their step back. If you are a very strategic politician, you will listen to the pulse of the people before making any decision. Most of us left Labour Party because we categorically beg them. We ask them. This has nothing to do with parties starting from the beginning or starting from somewhere. If you want to win an election in a state that is so very, very dynamic, like a those state, very, very electorally educated, you have to uh, bring zoning into the picture. Kind of a little bit. I know it's not constitutional, but you cannot take a regional zoning out of politics, except you are not the politician, because you have a very major role to play in politics. And Labour Party went ahead and do a primary and their candidate emerged from a dosal. And APC did the same thing and their candidate emerged from a dosal. But in less than a week, APC was able to retrace their step back and went to a dose central, which by all ramification, every a do person, a do south, a do north and a do central are saying the ticket, the god the next governor should come from a do cent from a do central. So that is the reason why you have a do central a PDP coming from Edo Central, which is Dr. Aso Igudalo, and you have APC and the other guy, Monday, I don't know the second day, the second day because uh, oh, 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 yeah. he just, okay, he just came into the limelight, we don't even know where he stands at the moment, we have yet to hear from him, hear him speak, so that is for that. And Olu Media Bata uh, uh, is coming from PDP, uh, coming from Labour Party, party, which is also from Edo South, and from the same local government where Obaseki uh, uh, comes from, over Edo. So, that being said, that being said, what is going to play out in the two state election is going to be an eye opener. It's going to be a historical event that people will say, uh, do people actually not agree for anybody? Because we know they vote based on sentiments. Uh, do people doesn't vote because they, 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 they belong to one party. Mm -hmm. And no governor in a two state, no governor in a two state, and I repeat, no governor in a two state have been able to influence the voters' decision. In the presidential election because that is what some of the obedient uh some of the people who are saying every obedient should support labor party are coming I pray. that if uh like me i'm supporting dot aso igodalo that if dot aso igodalo win that he will not be able to allow peter obi to win a those i told him that's a very planted lie because obasaki was you know sadebe avenue when peter obi won with the landslide in the those things. so what we are going to be experiencing we need to prepare ourselves all right. The other eight political party, the other eight political party, they are already aligning with Dr. Aswe Gudalo. Uh, oh, oh, hold on, uh, uh, Benjamin, you cannot say that. You don't have that proof that all of them are aligning with Aswe Gudalo. You don't have that proof because we've not believe, listened to these parties. I believe. I, I believe. Oh, Let me put this proof okay, you believe. Point. Okay. I believe that they are already aligning with Dr. Aswe Gudalo. All because right. When you place three major candidates in a scale bus. One thing I will come to your mind. Who do you want to who do you want as an educated person to govern a those state? And Dr. Aswe Udalo Anyway, Benjamin, we are not here to campaign. Can, what, you, you are definitely to campaign no, right now. You are definitely to campaign no, right no, now. No, I'm not campaigning. I'm not campaigning. Let me learn with this. I'm not campaigning. Please conclude. If yes. I if I want to campaign, you know, I will not come to social media and campaign. You know mm. my person. Yeah. I'm always on plan. I will go to the grassroots and campaign because mm. that is where the election is coming up from. Mm. That's where the voters are coming up from. All but right. Me as an educated, educated person, I will tell you, mm. if, if those three major candidates are placed in the scale boss today, as an educated person, somebody who wants the peace and unity of a state, they will go for the door as well. I'll come back to you. Thank you. Thank you, Benjamin. Just okay. hold on. I, I will come back to you. Definitely, I'll come back to you. Well, you. well uh, Simon, I know you have I so much to say. That. I know. Just hold on. Let me pick on those two points. He made sure said some parties, the age of them, maybe according to his belief, they've already, like, you know, adopted a candidate in the person of uh, the kind of the PDP. That's what he said. And also said, uh, he raised other points. I forgot the point. But just take it up from where he left off. I disagree with that point that the eight political parties are believed to be supporting Aswan Godalo. Mm. That's very wrong because none of this political party has come out officially to say we are going to 
support this. We are collapsing our structure for this or this person as at present. Mm -hmm. The only people that have even made a statement as at present, as I am concerned, is the Labour Party youths. Youth wing that went to the N uh, NUJ about a few days ago to give a statement that they are willing to work with the APC government. This is the only party that has even given a statement that they are supporting one person or the other. That is the angry youths on the Labour Party. Call it the angry youth of the Labour Party. Call it the youth of the Labour Party. Call it the obedient people of the Labour Party. Whatever you want to call it. This youth gathered themselves en masse, went to the NUG and gave a statement. That is what we know as this party is supporting this person or this person. It's just like the speculations that we are having. I believe if, before the weeks runs out or before the months runs out, 50% of the PDP big wings are going to jump over as well. Still not speculation. These are all speculations. Mm -hmm. But we all know where the... You know, politics, you study body movement. I believe my, my brother have not been able to study the body movement of political parties. Majority of these small political parties, they have one belief. Once they don't have a candidate that they are going to feed a candidate, they swap hmm. to where they will be favored, to where this thing will come from, the small party. That is the interest. So it's all about the money right now. Some of them, because they don't even have the finance to even, to even contest the governorship election. Let us be sincere. You want to like, there was a, it's just like a mistake so my you, did but what you're saying they are standing by to be bought over yes they're just waiting for to be bought over by one a, a political party or the other mm -hmm. let me tell you a, a, a cousin of mine then you popular known a mighty man you must have heard of him mm -hmm. you know he tried to contest in apc then for house of assembly and he was not able to to get the ticket because he was very popular he was very well known by the youths. He not talking, let me go to ADC. I think he went to ADC then. Mm. He not jumped to ADC. He spent money, brother. He moved around the Edo state already. And he was accepted by all the majority. When he now come to the election proper, he not get this one to take on He was only able to get two votes, three votes. Upon he shared more than thousands of rapper, thousands of shirts and everything, gift money. He shared money. He did everything. But on the day, day, to make sure that ADC is popular, he was the symbol of everywhere. ADC, ADC. Mm -hmm. But when you don't have the financial muzzle, number one, and the party does not have the structure, number two, hardly. This small, small parties even show face. That's why I always tell you we have three major parties. If to really say we have two major parties with structure, because Labour Party does not have structure but have a PGM movement. Listen. Uh, okay. Listen uh, now. Uh, they'll take us an approach right now. No, they listen. have the structure. Listen, even the, he, he says something before. Let me emphasize on it. Obedient movement does not mean they are Labour Party members. Don't misunderstand that. A structure means that. You have members that are registered with a party. Thousands of members that are registered party carrying members. That is what is called structure. But Labour Party does not have that strong structure in those state. What they have is obedient movement followers. With these followers are not even Labour Party members. Majority are PDP, APC, and those, as my brother said, artisan. Those that market, we know these people that just say we want a change. So, in the real sense, we have two major parties in a do state to contest election in September 20th. INEX says 16, and we have just eight. When they would have said two major parties, they would disagree with you on that. INEC, INEC is saying 16. Mm. Applied, registered. Only eight have submitted names. now. Have we not have it in an election that APC did not feed their candidate? In an election, have we not have it in some state? PDP could not feed a uh, 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 candidate in election because they could not submit the election, uh, the, the candidate name because of court cases, because of the internal wrangling with the party, because of disagreement. So it can happen to any party mm. that you, you miss out. It must not be that it's the big party or the small party. 
All right. That's why I just want to understand that. Even Thank you. Even the PDP that have the big wins, have Thank the structure, you. they can even miss out When we we'll return... So all those eight, yeah. not to disrespect them, mm. I believe they are waiting where to shoot their, their head to, Solomon, to be benefited. Solomon, you're going to react to yeah, that after, to contest for after this break, because leadership. right now, as it stands, uh, uh, Benjamin said they are turning towards the political party. Uh, Ross said they are waiting to be bought over. Let's see what someone will say in his own opinion after this break. TMI, every opinion counts. Mayor said he believes that the remaining aides will align with the PDP and their candidate as well, Igor Dalo. Samuel said it's not true because for the fillers he's getting, they are lining with his own party, the APC, and of course, Okpewolo. Why Solomon? We're waiting for him to let us know his own reaction. Because from what they two said, they are believing that they are going to align with their party. But some are saying this party, they might have collapsed that structure to support one or two candidates. So take it up from there, Solomon. But by this election, a very serious no without fears mm. is actually for three or four political parties mm. i say four political parties that all of the rest now one seriously yes they might not agree with you to that because you have eight candidates already <laughs> eight political parties I say all of the rest now one oh, listen i'll tell you mm. as we progress we'll see we are about to last our party for Mm. We all mm. have unanimously adopt. Mm. It's a normal thing in the politics. See, let me tell you. Very many mm. of them who are in the rest party, except there is one person, I may not want to mention his name, is a friend of ITV that is in this politics, just to make a difference. It's just to make a man can say, if I win, I win. If I don't win, I have made... I've made, I've made that difference. So I know that for that person, that gubernatorial candidate, he's the fourth candidate on the ballot. That I know. I won't mention his name. But you see, the, all those other ones, some of them don't go buy tickets. Make them for, make business. Yes, they yes. spend 5 million, get 10 million. Get 10 million, get 20 million. Ah. We'll see. Let me tell you one truth. Those ethical parties that have not submitted lists or names are not doing it not because they don't have names to submit. They are waiting for bargaining. In fact, they are still bargaining. <laughs> and when eventually they submit names, it's not, I am not saying they are in party A or party B, mm -hmm. but they are merchants. Let me tell you, outside this major, three major or four political parties, when I say three or four political parties, you know in the, in the presidential election, there are just four parties. Mm. Yeah, you know them. I will not want to start mentioning names so I don't blow their trumpet for them. There were just four political parties. The party of the red cap, the party of the broom, the party of the umbrella, and the party of the family. Mama, Papa, Pekin. Uh -huh. those, are okay. the, those are the three major, uh, four major parties that mm. were in the game. Let me tell you, the others are just queuing up. Very close to the election, you will see them defecting to party B, party A, and party C. They are just waiting to cash out. Actually, when one of the political party or political aspirant now is doing dollar rain, they are just waiting and calculating. I'm telling you. So, I am not, I, I don't know which of the parties they want to join, but I can tell you for free that they are merchants. They are just political associations. They are there just to add. Um, the reason why some of them will even go and put their names on the ballot is just so that they finish the process. It's not because they want to finish the race. Just the process. They just want to finish the because process. Because they know their fate already. Definitely. All right. Baba, the nigga say you don't work more. And then I want more. Please simply put, yes. when a mother in law does not have rapper, she will not have enough to dash to her daughter in law. You think to run to run gubernatorial election yes. in Nigeria, especially at those states that is highly, highly politically educated, it's it's my mind or beans arise. The truth of this is that we know that these people that are refusing, they are it's not like waiting to, they are refusing to submit their names. 
are in for business. So they are open for the market? Of course. Open for the taking. God, I didn't negotiate no, wow. it. Oh, I tell you, you could listen to my brother from Germany mm. saying emphatically that he knows that they are coming to his party. That's to tell you that there's already horse trading. And you could listen to my brother, Aras, telling you that that may not be true mm. because he, the, even even LP youth, according to him now, yeah. uh, we're at LUJ. You would think that, see, or you are just believing that the so-called LP youths that went to NUJ to go and do the so-called declaration did it with an empty hand. They were Greece. Their pubs were Greece. Okay. They received they received transport fare to shut off a scarf <laughs> with gold and white envelopes. I'm come at this one more. Well, uh, Mayor, you, you heard them. They are saying that their party definitely might just absorb all these parties are ready to work with them not only with your political party and they're talking about parties being bought over they're waiting for the right price not because they don't have candidate because they're waiting for the party to give them the right price for them to trade take it up from there um thank you um you know in every contest people will always drag something because it is constitutional to uh drag for it or rather uh, beat for it um, I that one is not a problem. If they like, they can decide to go and buy them overnight because I give them a hint. Because that is what the PC normally does, and you know that. So <laughs> no, that you don't take a swipe at the party. Leave that, <laughs> that, that is by the way, my dear brother. All right. Doctor Aso Dalo profile is not can, that kind of can we can we, oh, 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 can oh, we try oh, as much oh, as not to hold on oh, hold on uh, benjamin bear please uh, let's try not to mention soon. names okay for some good reasons all right okay let me use the word uh, uh, PDP candidate. okay PDP candidate better uh, okay pdp candidate profile is not a kind of uh, profile that we have to london his image for him to be accepted by the public just like what AP, apc are presenting and the certificate that is emanating from the social media, the white certificate, that is so, it's laughable that that, 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 that kind of candidate want to uh, rule a do state that is full of intellectuals. It's, um, I find it so disheartening and appalling that these people should come forward and tell us in a do state that they want to win an election. I have no problem with the candidate of the APC, but I have problem with the APC because the problem we face in Nigeria today, they are the root cause of that problem. But that being said, that being said, let's concentrate on the two state election and concentrate on the realities. The other eight political parties that are yet to submit their candidate and all that, they have a plan, which I believe, except they want to be scrapped. They have a plan and in less than I think I've given them a deadline for them to do that. I will continue to fold our hands and watch. You are going to be here. You will see how most of them are going to be aligning with the candidate of the uh, the PDP because incompetence, in character, uh, compassion towards the people, the man of grand, the man that has no association with corruption and all that, <laughs> or equity, fairness, and justice, it ticks all the boxes. You understand? And it will take, it's only, it's only a man or a woman who is an enemy of a dual state? Who is an enemy of progress and development? Who is an enemy of peace and unity? That will look at the profile of PDP candidates in a dual state and still go for APC or go for the Labour Party. And that being said, I said it before and I will repeat it again. Uh, I will permit me to mention the name this one time. Dr. Aswe Udalu does not need any organization i'm coming sir does not need any organization does not need any obedient structure to win the edo state election he does not need the support of the present governor governor have to present him like what people have been uh pushed on the social media he does not need any any of those organization without obedient backing i will know what the, it's not like that you know why because he's pedigree all right. He's a successful legal practitioner. Okay. And he has the experience in the public and private sector. Thank you. I would like to help him to that. move the Edo State forward. So All this right. is what we're going to bring it forward. Um, and let me round up to this, sir. Let yes. me round up to this. The candidates are going to come together for a debate. By then, we should be able to know who is going to be the governor of Edo State. Thank because you. Because governing Edo State is not just by 
coming out from the ruling party, coming out from the a very well-known party. Like I said before, Labour Party is just like an attaché in this issue. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, Benjamin, you've made your point. 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 Well, Samuel, since it went that way, I'm going to uh, allow you to go an extra mile. Okay, before I come to Solomon, I will call it a rap on this show. You heard him. Take it off from where it stopped. I want to, I want to correct my brother. Mm. There's a problem, the Nigerian diasporas are the problems of Nigerians too. Now, would you say that? If you look at what happened by so-called technocrats, intelligent, we say we are looking for the best intelligent people, we are looking for this, the technocrats. What have technocrats brought for a do state? We had big, big English, we have not been able to get the Gilegele support after seven years. We have heard big, big English. We have not been able to get the, the uh, Do Not uh, Stadium that was promised. We have heard big, big English. All the local government mini uh, uh, stadium we have not seen. We have heard big, big English. All the uh, head center that claimed to be built in the local government, all the local government that was promised, we have seen nothing. Uh, those states have been in stagnation for seven years now with the big English people, with the technocrat, with the so-called intelligent people. We are not after who is intelligent that will tell us a lot of students speak big English and nothing comes out of it. The Asri Godalo is just talking about. He has worked with five different banks. How many are still existing? Some have bankrupted. He has worked with banks. What has that bank impacted? Uh, that bank he worked with, what are they impacted on the Edo Central? What has it done in the Edo Central when he was working with those private sectors? Asri Godalo is talking about has been working with, with uh, Obaseki for the past seven years. For the past seven years, what impartation has it done for right. the adult people? All so right. it's not it's about bringing people that are very intelligent. Let's not it's not about bringing it right now. No, it's not about bringing technical. I bring it this. We want people. We want somebody that can change the face of a do. That can bring a do state from this stagnation we are. All right. With the same big English people. A uh, those states in 2016 was having 40, uh, 45 billion dollars, uh, 45 billion naira debt. Mm. It in a 2023 ending. Not even 2024, not, not yet added. A do state is having 120 something billion debt. And these are all big, big English people. And there's nothing to show for that billion. Thank you, Samuel. Watch your emotions. Samuel, watch your emotions. Watch your emotions. The diaspora has really like to control the, 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 the system for us. We they don't know which this what we are passing through. Thank you. We know a government that will face that will help us. We Thank know you. the government that will help us. Thank you. Mother Pebolo. Thank you. Check his statistics. Somewhere you're going to wait for this advance. Go and check his statistics in the Edo Center. Thank you. The things he has done. He has done roads. Our time he has is up. Our time he has is done up. Solomon. Thank you, thank you, Samuel. That is really to help. Samuel, so about to you. One minute. No, 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 Samuel, 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 calm down, calm down. Samuel, calm down. Solomon, over to you. Our time is up. Solomon, one minute. It's okay. One minute, Solomon. We will continue with this discussion later because our time is up. No, Mr. No, Mr. I will not take one minute from you. One minute. Because you would not have allowed others to speak for. If you knew you were going to time it like that, you give us. Let me tell you one truth. Okay. I am disappointed. See. I would have, I would have taken a swipe on, on uh, Aras, mm. but I'm disappointed at the presentation of my brother from Germany. Let me tell you why. Let's go past now. Mm. I'm coming, please. Why I said I'm disappointed? He started the calumny. He started, you see, I expect us now to go issue-based politics. Politic. Forget calumny. Whether he speaks English, he doesn't do this. Because otherwise, if, if Aras started this, I would have taken a swipe on him and his party. Try to let them know where we are. We are where we are because we are where we are. Yeah. Don't tell me. I don't want to hear APC, PDP. There are the problems of this country, for God's sake. Is there anybody in PDP today that has not been in APC? Mm -hmm. Or is there anybody in APC that has not been in PDP? What are you coming to tell me about APC or PDP? The Labour Party, in fact, in fact, is another shame that we are saying today. They are a disgrace. When you call up and shout that trick stars, oh, come on, like Jacob. Come on, I won't take this on air. No, I won't no, take no, it from no, you. No, no, you have no right to insult no. any political party. I am telling you. You can't call them disgrace or the problem. Come I on, said come the down. Watch your emotions. Parties are not the political parties are not even impressive. Watch your emotions, please. I'm not impressive. Watch your emotions. Listen, let me tell you. Mm. Whether you call it PDP, I, 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 I was, I was shocked when I heard them. Um, my brother from Germany saying that the 
their, their candidate does not need the obedient movement. That's a huge one. That's a large one. It's going to take you. Don't, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, there, 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 there are comments you don't make on air. Hmm. Because I'll tell you one thing. Today, the commissioner for what's his name, uh, digital economy, uh, if I lose Sibo, was an obedient. All right. So, people who are obedient or were obedient are not, are not necessarily Labour Party members. Thank you. Thank they, were, you. they were cut across APC, PDP, AIPP, Our time is up. QPP. So, so on. Th there are certain comments. I'm going to invite you later. I'm just going to so, invite you later. For me, Thank I you. think that I'm advising the two political parties yes. or the three political parties to bring us issue based arguments. Thank and you. I want to thank the APC and the PDP for giving the candidates. Of their party or uh, ticket, ticket of their party. Our time is up. Central. Thank you so much. I know you have a lot to say, Benjamin. Our time is up. Someone, thank you so much. Someone, thank you so much. The opinion is theirs. It has nothing to do with ITV. But still, we are best to make sure that they watch their emotions. We're talking about parties, talking about candidates' emotions when they go <laughs> up. Please, gentlemen, watch your emotions, okay? We have eight right now. What about the others? Are they up for sale or they're going to meet INEC deadline? That's a question we're asking. Are we expecting answers? Gentlemen, thank you. The month on Germany, Benjamin Mayor, somewhere around, and of course, on the job. Thank you so, so much. We'll do it again next week, Sunday. God willing. Bye for now.